I don't know if people will believe what my story is where I started from B B B I, I stood on my own when this whole thing started. Nobody didn't even help me or lay a finger, you know, or try to help me out, you know what I mean? So what I did was be out there and you know, have have the passion for it, have the ambition for it, and you know, have this the, the, the drive for it. You know, you, you wanna capture you, you wanna get whatever you, you try to do, which is you know gonna benefit you in the near future. Like you wanna value yourself and put yourself out there somehow, you know what I mean? So if people wanna do this as a career, you need to be serious from the get go. Don't make it as a hobby. If you want to do it as a hobby, it's cool. For me, Omasa, I took this as a career. I took it very serious from the get-go. I'm like, I want to people not to see me as this is not a hobby. I want to, I want to feed, I want to feed my family out of this. I want to, you know, get my own car out of this. I want to buy my own, you know, house out of this. You know, if you have the, the ambition for it, if you got a passion for it, you know what I mean. Don't ever stop doing. It doing what you do, you know what I mean, so, um, for, for people who trying to, you know, trying to be, you know, a beat making, or trying to be a producer, or trying to make sounds, you know what I mean, so don't ever stop what you do, and nobody, don't let anybody tell you different, so yeah. <laughs> Officially as a career, so that's what I'm doing right now. What people know me as Dynamic. I did productions for. There's a whole bunch of people on my way to. I did stuff for Reason. I did stuff for Zaps. I did stuff for WHP. I did stuff for Morel. Um, who else? Oh, there's a lot. I did stuff for Pro Kid as well. Um, there's a lot of people actually. I did production for. So yeah. It's been a good journey so far, so look out for more stuff. Um, people can still check out my website, there's like a bunch of stuff over there. There's like free material over there. Um, there's beat tapes are free, there's what else is in there? There's videos, um, there's stuff I produce for, even international artists. Um, I did stuff for Lovely from the UK, I did stuff for 730 from Atlanta. Um, well, the list goes on, man. That's what I do. My name is Dynamic. Yeah, why be making? Well, it's a challenge from perspective from an MC. Well, MC is much more simple because everybody wants to rap. Well, it started from rapping before I became a producer. Well, before I even, you know, started this beat making stuff, 
I was an MC. I used to rap on stages. I used to do a whole lot on stages, you know what I mean? So, um, the reason why I chose beat making because I couldn't afford beats from anybody. Um, some of them even gave me like terrible beats. I couldn't even rap on them. Um, I don't know, it, it, became, it became a habit now of not even, you know, searching for beats. It became from a journey from like, I wanna make my own stuff take creative control to make my own music, you know what I mean? So, I don't know, um, Exodi actually introduced me to beat making and stuff. Well, I did beat making before that, you know, with my cousin. Um, I wanted to ha enhance my knowledge into more beat making and stuff, so Exodi gave me a software, so I started, you know, messing around. It took me a while, actually, to get where I'm at. Um, practically about probably two or three years to perfect, you know, my style until then, you know. So it became from not buying beats, but making my own stuff. So I chose that. Now, it became to, I don't know if I should call it a habit, but it became an addiction of, you know, producing more stuff, you know, being creative. It became more or less of me writing music, you know. I used to rap, but it became more or less. You know what I mean? So um, it became beat making every day now. Now I forgot about even rap and it became making <laughs> beats, you know what I mean? So yeah, that's how the whole journey started. Um, I use, there's a whole lot of stuff I use. I got a bunch of stuff like, mostly I use Fruity Loops. Um, I got Cubase, I got, what else? I got Sona, I got Pro Tools. There's a whole lot of stuff actually. Something that makes sound I can maybe, you know, you know, make the best out of it, you know, but it all started from Magix. From Magix, it became, you know, Fruity Loops because I wanted to enhance more creative control in what producers do, you know what I mean? So most producers use Fruity Loops. Um, most of them use Cubase for recordings and Pro Tools for recording as well. Uh, I feel more comfortable with um, Fruity Loops using, actually. So yeah, what inspires me? Well, well I'm not one-dimensional producer. I'm not even focusing on doing boom bap like everybody does. I'm more, I'm more versatile, you know, when it comes to music. I'm not, you know, you know, kind of doing, you know, what, what, you know, hip hop producers make. I want to do even, you know, gospel if <laughs> by any chance. I get more inspired by gospel, you know, to, to make my own style. You know, um, there's various stuff that I listen to. I even listen to dubstep. I listen to rock. I listen to pop. Um, in there and there, you know, I, 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 did, I did a track for my way to which was, was a reggae song as well, um, which was more inspiring as well. So, um, yeah, what inspires me is everything, you know, what I, what I, you know, graphs to, or maybe I got even tons of music actually on my phone, um, which is now non hip hop material, which inspires. Just a couple of things actually, um, actually last year. I think June, August, and September. Um, I copped, I copped um, a KRK case, a KRK case six, which I'm standing on these huge ass monitor stands as well. Um, I just bought my MPD, which is closer to the MPC, which basically works like an MPC, but but it's an MPD as such. It was designed by Akai. I mean, you can program your drums onto that drum machine and make whatever you try to make. I got that, and I got um, my M Audio 61 keys. Um, I use that a lot actually to program my, you know, piano keys and everything in there. Um, what else I have? Basically, that's what I have actually. I don't have much of my hardware that is installed unless maybe. You know, if you want to do anything like analog type, you know, studio, um, you're gonna actually spend a lot, close to about like, I don't know, 100k to 200k for hardware. So for now, I can't even afford that kind of equipment right now. But what I use basically, can I can get the best out of it to make it more analog type studio. You know what I mean? So that's what I equip with actually in my studio. Like I said, man, like I'm more versatile of a producer. I'm like. If, if quite to inspire me to do a hip hop track, which is more, you know, you can able to listen to it and it sounds like a quite to track, but it's more of a hip hop track, it's actually that inspires me. 
So um, if I have to define what production is more versatility on it, um, it's not one dimensional stuff that you're going to hear on the radio. Well, some producers stick on, you know, one formula in doing that. That's what defines them. When you say, you know, we define a style like a dynamic style, I'll, I'll say there's versatility on it. So, yeah. I'll, I'll say a Michael Jackson record I have. Um, well, what is it? I can actually have to tell about it. I'll tell you now. I think it's black and white? Something like that. Yeah, black and white is actually... Um, my favorite, my favorite all-time album because I used to listen to that actually when I was a kid. Um, I'm still bumping it. I still got it on my Blackberry somehow. I think it's one of the greatest Michael Jackson records to ever come out actually. So um, it's more, it's more humanitarian um, album type because it can relate to everybody. I mean, like if you mention something from Michael Jackson, like one track, which is very you know, timeless. Yeah, well, I, I think that's the exact word that I'm looking for, very really timeless. Because timeless music can, you know, that never ends. I mean, like, you can still bump it now. I like, you know, you make a one-hit track and it dies out, you know, the next year and you forget about it. I like, you know, other stuff like Michael Jackson records used to drop, which it can last forever. They can use it for efforts, they can use it for jingles, they can use it for, um, for um, I don't know, for movies, I don't know, something, for, for scores, whatever. But um, when you make timeless music, you can relate to it somehow, you know what I mean? So it remains forever. Like, from 20 years to come, I'm still going to buy Michael Jackson record from there. So, yeah. When I started beat making, right, um, it was from, I don't know how, how should I explain this. It was from a record. My record, my, my dad used to play these records where, you know, sometimes when there's an intro, right, um, there will be like a drum loop going around it. So what I was trying to do is somehow record that drum loop, you know, and put melodies on top, on top of that, right? So what I used to do, take a record, place the record, and take a cassette deck, Two of them, right? Record the other one using a mic. I don't know how did I do it, but I did it. Record those drum loops, right? It will record, record that drum loop. Take that where it's recorded and try to loop it again. So I loop it from another take deck to another one. So I try to loop that at least like you know several times until I get something out of it. It becomes a drum loop. Then I'll take the drum loop, right? Take it back to the um, <laughs> to the cassette deck and take my microphone, right, and sing somehow. You know, maybe maybe come up with a melody or something. I don't know. Sing on that, then it becomes a beat, right? Then take it from that, you know, the, the beat, the so-called beat that I made, and rap over it. Um, that's how I used to make my stuff actually. That was like back in '89. 98 <laughs> for people you don't know so that's how I used to make my beat it's very funny how I did my beat but somehow I did you know um, get the best out of it my first beat I sold was for 10 bucks there's no duty as a producer actually a duty as a producer you need to have responsibility of making the music right if the damn thing doesn't sound right that's not even a producer if, if it makes a lot if it's not focused noise, it makes a lot of noise. That's how it is. That's the duty of a producer. You, you, need to, you need to not be in a perfectionist as such, but what you need to do is, um, I don't know, just make, just make music, you know, to, to make it more focused so people can hear what, what, what music is all about. Don't just make sounds. Be more clear. I said, I drive myself crazy as well. You know, when I make, when I make my music, you know what I mean? I sit down, you know, the whole day and make a whole lot of noise, you know? And until I get the right sound out of what I'm making, um, I'll be satisfied, at the, you know, you know, at the final product. I'll drive myself even two or three days making the same beat. Until it sounds right, I'll put it out. That's me, actually. So, that's the duty of, you know, a producer. Just make the sound right.
cooler. Well, most, most of the stuff is actually self-taught. I taught myself how to, how to, you know, nobody didn't even help me how to make beats, you know. People, people, I, I just wanted to, like, know, okay, how, how do you do this, how do you do that, you know. And so I started off on my own, I started off, you know, standing alone as a one-man army, you know. Um, I don't know, man, that's, that, this is me, man. What can I say? <laughs> um, people can check can check my stuff. That's dynamic 152com This way you can get my beats. People can follow me at Twitter. That's at dynamic 152 People can find me on Facebook. Um, dynamic 152 the producer. People can still email me for tracks. No, actually not tracks. If you want more inquiries about you know my production and everything, I can send you a catalog. Right. Which is dynamic one if to at gmail.com. That's where people can find me. Um, well I'm everywhere. If you just search actually for dynamic one if I to um, on any website actually, you can find me there. That's what I do actually best. So yeah.